Mount Sinai means a lot. It was the hostel that I received my transplant training. It's a hospital that literally opened its arms for me and it gave me the opportunity to evolve, it gave me the opportunity to get the best uh, training. Sinai is home. We treat people with end-stage renal disease. These patients most of the times are on dialysis for some years. We also treat our patients who have end-stage liver disease. What we do is we change their old and uh, non-functioning organs with uh, new healthy ones. The survival rates for liver and kidney transplants are really, really high. Some of the most pioneer surgeons that they have written the most important textbooks in surgery were here at Mount Sinai. We are actually the um, first uh, hospital in the New York State area that performed liver transplants quite some time ago. We have uh, an expertise which is um, unique in the area. For a patient, that's the best uh, he or she can ask that it's a place that no matter how complicated his um, condition is, no matter what unexpected uh, situations may come up during his care, there will be a 100% expert on the field here at Mount Sinai to take care of that. My individual approach to patient care is um, to balance um, a healthy relationships, to be able to be close enough to my patients so they feel that um, I do care about them, and not just uh, to perform a perfect operation, but I care about their organ of life, uh, their feelings, their fears, uh, their questions. At the same time, that they need to know that um, I'm their surgeon and I have the um, uh, emotional uh, strength to deal with their sickness. I'm able to help very, very sick patients and see them having a second chance in their life, and that's what makes us happy, and that's what uh, keeps us going.